<laughs> ah, what do we got? As the international approaches, introducing supporter clubs. Oh, they finally released this. Too much takes to read though. Is someone to use CTS? As the international approaches, introducing supporters clubs. Oh. May the 12th, 2021. Supporters clubs. Today's update introduces supporters clubs. A new way for fans to support their favorite teams. By purchasing bundles of badges and seasonal equipables, perfect for showing off allegiance in and out of the lanes. Content in supporters clumps is provided by the teams themselves, and 50% of all sales goes to the teams you choose. This content will last until the international commences. In future seasons, it will last through each respective major. Each team has three bundles to choose from, with an increasing amount of content inside. The bronze club includes a badge for your favorite team, the silver club includes sprays and emoticons, and the gold club includes a special in-game HP bar badge, loading screens, and voice lines. Nice! If you get a bronze, you get a badge. And if you get silver club, you get sprays and emoticons that literally no one uses. Very cool! When was the last time you saw someone use a spray? Very cool! Ding dong, thank you. Why is it all taking 50%? Like, I get they're doing a lot of the work. But this is supposed to be for the teams. It should be 75 for the teams. Badges will appear in multiple places throughout the game, including your friends list, player profiles, the versus screen, and the in-game scoreboard. Oh. Today we are adding content from 17 teams. As more content from other teams is submitted and approved, they will be added to this list regularly. Teams that aren't able to submit high tier content might be added as well without silver club and or gold club enabled. Visit team profiles in the DPC tab to join your favorite team <laughs> supporters club. Teams aren't able to submit high tier content. Why, why did they not add voice lines? I mean, oh, they did. And voice lines. Oh, nice. Very cool. Very cool. The international returns, poggers? The international returns. Let it be known, the Aegis of Champions is in play once more. After a break necessitated by world events, we're happy to officially announce that the International 10 will take place this August in Stockholm, Sweden. It all starts um. with group stage, running August 5-8 and setting the field for what's to come. The main event kicks off August 10 and continues through August 15, when the final teams battle in the Grand Finals to be crowned TI-10 champions and claim their share of the $40,018. 195 <laughs> prize pool that awaits, as we continue to plan the event around the shifting landscape presented by the ongoing global pandemic. Our focus remains on finding ways to hold a high-quality tournament in the safest way possible. This means we're waiting to release additional details on attendance options as we gather more information on developments heading into summer. We expect to be able to share more with the community during the month of June. Um. Um. How are you going to get this approved by Sweden? The government will not approve this. Have they already talked to them? There's no way you can have an audience. That's not happening. People F. Upcoming game events. We've previously mentioned our aim to deliver content on a more regular schedule throughout the year, rather than drop everything during one period for the traditional battle pass. We've experimented with this style for Diratide, the new player update, and our continued seasonal Dota Plus updates. <laughs> with that in mind, this year's slate will continue to look a bit different than in the past. To start, we'll be shipping two separate events over the coming months instead of one overarching summer event. The first will arrive in mid to late June, and another late. will follow some time after the international ends. Six months Neither after. of these events will fund the international prize pool, as the TI-10 Battle Pass prize pool still remains to be claimed. For fans that want to support players and organizations, the new supporters club provides a more flexible and direct way to contribute to your favorite teams. As the international approaches, there will be more ways for fans to engage with the tournament itself. We'll post updates here as we have them, so stay tuned for everything Summer has in store. Well, are they saying there will be no battle pass? <laughs> so 
So they're just going to get all the money themselves? <laughs> yes. So we arrived mid to late June. So that's super late June. And after international, so like December. Very cool. I'm afraid most of the support cl club kind of lacks any real appeal. Most players clearly don't uh, care about emoticons and sprays. True. No one gives a fuck about that. The voice on a remarkably overpriced consider they have an expiry date. That seriously need to be looked at. Again, it's, I'd be sorry if the teams were happy with the price point. I laughed out loud when I saw it's £15 for Brits. That's coming from a uh, whale. Level 1000. But I must be thinking that players want to support teams inclined like uh, sports streamers on Twitch are rolling five a month with minor temporary rewards. It's extremely optimistic because I'm conditioned to be getting far more banging for my buck when I spend my money on Dota. Two overpriced sets of voice lines that expire in 10 weeks or an arcana? No battle pass. What the fuck do I do with my money? No battle pass confirmed. Wow, I was uh, one of the people who were certain it would be one. I actually feel sad. This would be my uh, first battle pass uh, to actually waste money on. Honestly, even though I support Team Star and OG, I might uh, just buy the OG. Stop jungling, let's push. Can I uh, see the things first? Supporters club. Let's see here. Team, let's start with EG, I guess. People in sales go. So I can buy bronze uh, for, wait, is this monthly or what? Is this a one time or monthly? Does anyone know? Show off your EG allegiance with team logo. A one, wait, Leto was wanting about a one-time purchase? Yikes. Go EG. If I get silver for significantly more, significantly more, I get sprays. I also get some emoticons, so that seems pretty awful. Like, what are what are these emoticons? Like, I literally can't even see it. What, what is that? Like, okay, that's the EG logo. It's a spinning EG logo. Oh. But if I get gold, guys, on my health bar, I have it. Very cool. Very cool, and I get. Thanks, guys. Thanks a. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Run, 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 run. Who is that? Run, 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 run. Is that Arteezy? Who is that? What do you mean? That's not Daryl. Run, 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 run. I don't even know who it is. Stop jungling. Let's push. Uh, and I get low on this. this is pretty expensive, but it's for 10 weeks. You should get this permanent, honestly. Quincy crew. Okay. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, you hate to see it. I'm in high spirits. Smells like team spirit. Spirited away. Um, no, I don't think so. It's simply too based, my friend. <laughs> what, does Mason even play on this team? Too based, my friend. Does Mason even play on a team? I think I'm not option. Oh, I'm not going to play. This is my signature. Bejim, bejim, bejim. Bejim, 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 bejim,
Мама меня порубила. Все не так плохо, как вам кажется. Все намного. не так плохо, как вам кажется. Все не так плохо, как вам кажется. Все намного хуже. Дружище, куда? Why is this allowed? This has nothing to do with anything. Why is this allowed? What does that even mean? Why is that allowed? What does that mean? You can't use that a fucking weeb sound. That's racist. Be a player? I don't think so. <laughs> Defenders, save the tower. Defenders, save the tower. <laughs> what is this team even? I'm not sure this was a smart move, but I take you it. You just got bamboozled. You just got bamboozled. I'm not sure this was a smart move, but I take it. I'm really worried about you. <laughs> That's so bad, dude. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Alright guys, I know we probably lost this game, but we can still do this. Nice word, bro. Nice word, bro. Is that balance? <laughs> Is that balance? You need to be like a shark. Do you remember the million dollar dream car? Do you remember the million dollar dream car? It should have just been, do you remember? Is that balance? Is that balance? Is that balance? Actually, a good one. Balance? <laughs> you 13 mana boy. You 13 mana boy. You make best situation out of no situation. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm paying. I'm paying for it right now. Add funds. I don't have any funds. For the love of God. Mm hmm. Worst part is supporter pack seems kind of mad. They are almost as expensive as the battle pass. And provide almost no content. The teams I care about e either aren't on the list. Hot damn, Twitter's getting spicy tonight. I also not blame your lives for following rules and checking with ESL, even though I think they should definitely have gone, th gone about this different together with the rest of the teams like we usually do. But why are things like this XD, it's major news, need better communication? You're calling us pussies and cheaters, even though you have no clue about the rules. You're one great example of how one of the greatest that we should act. <laughs> Got him. Feels like it's been first since Dora drama. What happened? I'm out of the loop. PBD coach lines in live games, and some people think that is cheating. Isn't it? Question mark. New rules by ESL DreamHack. These kind of rules should be fixed by Valve, having code change uh, a lot of the game uh, how players choose. What? Uh, Notel literally called Alliance cheaters in the first post, but now he tries to backtrack and say he doesn't blame them. I can understand why Nico would be upset. Yep, all he has to do is admit he, mad, he made a bad call and apologize, but ego. Uh, what? I'm sure to me and lots of others it seems pretty scamas. Nobody's playing TI with their coach on comms. But what they did was just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Illegal and unethical is not always the same. Um, um, what's unethical about reading the rules and then following them? <laughs> PPD with the most out of place, but hilarious sake. 
Don't do Twitter's alive again. Maybe in a teasy tweet soon. <laughs> Nico is right, the Lions didn't do anything wrong, but not gonna lie, still hurts this alliance in, in this situation, given a lot of history about of getting big mad at teams taking full advantage of the rules. <laughs> well, eight years ago we did this. A uh, guy with zero TI wins trying to lecture a guy with uh, two back to back TI wins. Mate, you don't speak to the Dota 2 King without respect. Fall back in line, son. Uh, Nico's work is understandable, even Octo tried to backtrack it, lol. Oof, first time I witnessed a flower turning into weeds. Noto has been an asshole every waking hour for quite a while now. It's sad because he used to be actually quite a likable guy. <laughs> this is so classic internet mob mentality. Oh, Noto is a great guy, but look here guys, he did something we don't like. He did something we don't like? Uh, actually, actually guys. He's been an asshole every waking hour for quite a while now. Uh, it's sad, actually, because he used to be a likable guy. Now he just sucks. Hate him. Cancel. Fuck him. When there's drama on any person, the, the internet mob loves to hate on it. It's such a common thing. Every time. noto has been quite a dick for a while now. Don't know how his age performance getting him or TI money making him not give a shit. But this whole precious flower thing is a thing of the past. Oh really? Can you give like plenty ex uh, examples of that? Le Mahou has always been a dick. Hope OG doesn't make it to TI. A classic internet mentality. Oh, no till did something I don't like. You know what? Hope hope he doesn't even make it to TI. Actually, I hope his fucking career dies. Fuck him. Fuck this guy. Hopefully he's as miserable as me. Classic internet mentality here. This is when is no till a dick. What is wrong with these people? What is not a saint? Like what, when is it like what is someone uh, th last three years? What has Notel really done? What has he really done? At so such ash all is. <laughs> Notel is being very unprofessional. That's true though, he is. Uh but even though it's not being very professional, it doesn't mean like this is justified, but this is, this is internet mentality. Why do you say this? I haven't been following him. Uh, he's been acting above everyone else ever since TI9. He doesn't see even try to keep it subtle, a mouth. At least it amplifies my satisfaction when I see OG getting bodied. Ah, hey, hey sir, could you give some examples? No. <laughs> I just like to hate on the internet. Uh -huh. He cannot be any more unlikable. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, Dota is literally the flower of Dota. And now that's something they don't like. And now he's not even likable anymore. Go fuck yourself. That's winning TI two times with Seb does to you. Honestly, it's pretty much this. I used to be a biggest fan of no -tail. Even after one TI, I was a huge no fan, but now it's become vastly unlikable. <laughs> Can these guys give some examples? Been out of loop for a while. What else is, okay, here we go. He just acts as if he's above everyone else because he won two TI. The high horse he and Seb rides is pretty pathetic. Like, Can you give examples? And there's Yarex, the most humble person after winning TI and carrying his ass. When is he acting as above everyone else? And honestly, if you want two TI, you, you are above everyone else. If you want one TI, you're above everyone else. Because this is above everyone, you want two TIs. Yarex and the top say the same. Why not? And Seb, who is older, and then uh, say top could do the same. No, he's not. Winning Twitter doesn't make you superior to other people. No till is equal to me. I mean, yes, I work as a janitor and part-time work at McDonald's. He, I'm the same as No Tail. I could also do it, honestly. I'm the same as No Tail. I'm still waiting for like an example. And I'm expecting like like 10 examples because they're really making him like a very unlikable. That's what they're saying. I'm still waiting. I'm looking for them. 
How are you this delusional lol? Regardless of his action on Twitter, last time I checked he won uh, a lot more than two tournaments. Can you give uh, an example beside uh, this where not to act? I think I missed it. Downvoted. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> no response, downvoted. No, we don't need examples here. Just downvote. I'm downvoting this guy. We, we need some examples here. No, he just, he just acts like different. Can you blame him? How is he the best player ever? He's the most decorated player for sure, but the best player to ever play the game, Lamau. The best player ever is the guy who goes middle and does the most kills. Miracle is the best player. I'm not picking a side, but I think, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still waiting for examples. There's plenty of arguments against the fact that he's the uh, greatest of all time player, and OG is the uh, greatest of all time Dota. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Where did he act uh, that he's above everyone else? Downvoted. No response. <laughs> uh, classic. It, what did this guy What did he respond to? Uh, but, uh, what has he done uh, lately? Literally nothing. He just sold any kids. Downvoted. <laughs> what has he done? Mm-hmm. Lions are still pussies, though, so he's right about that. Mm. I used to really like him way back then during the Fnatic days. Sad. Yeah, I used to really like this person, but he did this one thing. He, like, he had a bad take on the internet, and now, like, he, I just can't like him. He's actually an awful person. I actually cancel him. The problem uh, was that they didn't announce this kind of big change. That's true, they probably should have. Uh, I mean, they did get on mail, apparently, but it should still be a bigger announcement of it. It's the current integrity of the rule change. Big go from no help here. <laughs> they did not realize the sheer amount of people looking up to them. Oh, here we got the argument. If you're uh, famous in any way, you have to be a saint. As you say, know that if you ever get in any way famous, you need to be a perfect human being. Because what No Tail did here was like, I'm actually shaking. Like he acted quickly and a little bit emotionally. And this might spread racism and sexism. It might be the end of the world, what he just did there. Big off on No Tail. I have to say it. Big off, actually. Calling out blatantly undermining words to fellow DPC Connor not only creates unhealthy toxic environment and is extremely unprofessional from him. <laughs> true. Unhealthy toxic environment, that's true. Nika's a right to the male mother. Ah, solar devil. I see that you're a letter who likes to go with the circle jerk. Because if you were true to your words, you probably would be like, you should have added, well, but the, the Nico baby was a bit too much as well. Uh, flaming him back because usually uh, there's a saying that uh, uh, what's the saying? I forgot what the saying is. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. So yes, no tail acted unprofessionally, but it's probably not the best response either. This is probably not the best response. Uh, but he forgets to mention that because he does a circle jerk. So the circle jerk right now is to hate on no tail and agree with Nico. So he does that. Alliance read the rule updates and acted on it. Note that uh, either needs to take this up with his TO or stop acting like a man child and apologize. Uh, another classic, let it. They love to call people children. You're a child. Out of the loop. Can someone explain what happened? Apparently, Alliance used code, yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people don't like the rule change, how he is so excused. I agree, but that's not the point. Nota went off on some people who 100% did not deserve it. It's Alliance, it's not Alliance's fault. True, true. Nota throwing a fit at them is pretty scummy. Yes. Nico has every right to be mad, but honestly, it's pretty disappointing to see act, Nota acting like this. I'm very disappointed. Actually, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. No tell Ross my lost my respect, guys. I'm a letter. Random internet guy, 
this person, the famous person, lost my respect. I'm waiting for it. Uh, this this famous person lost my respect. Oh no way! Random person in there. They lost your respect. You're disappointed in them. Wow! Very very cool. Very cool. Well, the complaint is understandable because, as per the respondent said, there was a shady eretta. Ah, an intellectual eretta. An error in printing or writing. Ah, of course, an eretta. I think you can fault the team unless for following the rules. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. No tell. Oh, yeah, I gotta get my food. Here, listen to this. <laughs> Notto is the prime example of you either die a hero or live to become a villain. He blasted Alliance, calling them out for cheating, and then realized it's actually in the rule book, tried to backtrack, and said don't blame Alliance. But of course Ego will not allow him to admit he was wrong, so had to be more indirect, and claim that Alliance should have gone about this differently. <laughs> I can't believe reading London. Uh, okay, let's just sum it up. Note that an emotional hot take. I see his Twitter, actually. Where is his Twitter? Another blasting. Now he's a villain. He's hated. <laughs> Fucking hell. God. Uh, all right. Having a cursor in a Dota game has never been allowed. Zero respect for people that cheat. Same thing when people macros and claim it's not against the rules or still don't know how to use lol. Mentioned the content of TI9, they said no. Mm -hmm. He doesn't delete his tweets, that's pretty poggers at least. Cheaters are big pussies. Mm -hmm. We don't know if TI is going to be 6 or 5 man tournament. Guess we'll know soon. So you can see here he's uh, tweeting all the same hours. He's frustrated and a bit emotional. So humans have emotional emotions, which makes you act not always rational. Uh, now, editors can really relate to this because they always sit in their home uh, and never get emotional about anything because they're stupid. Uh, maybe four. He's probably a bit mad as well because he's probably uh, struggling to qualify to TI right now, which is uh, Pepe Laugh. Remember when big news like this were official coming to everyone? I remember. Courtesy will not be allowed to. That's That's true. That should have been. This is how it should have been. It's not an eye. This is how it should have been. Cards now will be allowed in uh, the game, during tournament games. That's how it should have been, but... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It really seems to me that a 40-minute tournament would be consistent uh, rules through their qualifying. Through the qualifying tournament for a main event. Maybe the number would change throughout to avoid stagnation. Yes. Dota has always been a man-mode game. That's a little bit sexist. I... Can we cancel him for that? Secret, Team Star, Liquid, or all teams, I'd bet my right arm on having honor and integrity. We all know the rules and the game. Respect and cherish it. Many more up there just looking for some clarification, clar clarity and responsibility. <laughs> also, not blame your lines for following the rules and checking with DSL, even though I think they should have definitely gone uh, about it this differently and together with the rest of the teams like we usually do. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's a bad take. It's a bad emotional take. And that's all there is to it. And then he kind of backtracks it because he realized he was kind of wrong in creating hate on lines because they were just following the rules. Uh, now, good let it. You need to cancel him for this. He had an emotional take and got frustrated. Cancel him. Uh, where were we? Back to the drama. Uh, yeah, yeah, Velen is going too far. You guys are hilarious. Yeah, he was wrong to say they cheated and not on up to being wrong about it and out of line, but surely it doesn't fit the him as a person. What <laughs> a reasonable take. 15 upvotes, not bad. It's a figure of speech. Hmm. Does he? Going back to Han, he was your average toxic scumbag. You don't understand. Like, 10 years ago, when Nota was 16 years old, he, he was toxic. Like, I literally looked up his history. When he was 16 years old, playing Han, you know, he was, like, typing toxic stuff. I mean, I looked it up. I looked it up, man. He definitely seen... Uh, I've definitely seen him lose his temper and act like an asshole without regard for others. 
Mm, really? And at the same time, he's generally been supportive of people in kind. Again, like, yeah, I would like some uh, uh, clips. You can't label people good or bad. And even he's standing up and even saying he's standing up is sus. <laughs> Most times he's respectable, but he's, uh, he's not in this case. Also, he's probably a drug addict. So I don't, I don't D, be nice to get him health care. <laughs> right? And then you realize 9% of the people who are commenting are weirdly in, invested and in, uh, suffer some kind of mental illness. It makes them talk about people they don't know on the internet in ways that if randoms on the internet talked about them, they'd feel creeped out. <laughs> I mean, and I'm writing, I mean. I'm not criticizing or saying it changes the outcomes, but watching True Sides, you definitely get the sense that some players are tweaking on Steam and it's hard. <laughs> now, this guy is an expert, so he is clearly a doctor. Uh, he, he deals with drug addicts a lot, so he knows these things. He is clearly a professional and knows what he's talking about. It's a joke we have no drug testing in sports. In the sport, especially when we know uh, other esports have had a huge problem with Adderall being taken recreationally. Drug addict? Question mark? Ah! Audrey reportedly used Adderall during international. Had, had literally zero evidence for it, but that's cool. <laughs> Lol, you guys are uh, exposing how shit you are as humans by trying to define them as a person and soul over such butt pair shit. <laughs> I mean... I mean... Nico ain't wrong. Notal is a shining example of winning turns you into a shithead. Guys, again, you don't understand. Like, he had a bad take. Notal is clearly a garbage human being. Clearly garbage. He's complete shithead. He was always a shithead. But the Flarmian was stronger. True, guys, true. Up with 130. He was always a shithead. Notal has always been a shitty person. The flower thing was just a meme. He's a shitty person. Guys, you don't understand. A couple Sage Val videos about how much of a family OG liquid or whatever are and people buy such it mindlessly. Oh my god. It hurts reading this. Um, usually this family thing is that when you're close, so you're not an actual family, but you're like really close with them. And I'm pretty sure uh, Nota is close with his teammates. To be fair, I wouldn't blame them. I only started following Dota scene around 2015. But I can't remember OG players other than Seb getting into any drama about trashing other professional teams until uh, after Fly left. This isn't fully serious, but I wonder if Fly leaving somehow broke OG's manner. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, People saying Seb is full of shit, like, because he won two Tia as well. The, the guy's always been, like, always had hot takes since the beginning. Which is fun. And people take him so seriously. I remember, what was it? They said, like, you thinking you can beat us offends me. Like, that's clearly not, like, very serious. And kind of a meme. But people take it serious. Oh, he's got his head. He actually believes that. He's actually offended by someone thinking that it's just smack talk. I don't think Reddit understands that. Always is a pretty big claim. Give example from pre Twitter. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. The era situation. I, I want to know post Twitter thing. Like, what has No Tail done in the last three years that, that makes him a shithead? He thinks he's above everyone, but they know, you know they don't have any examples. The era session, what happened? I mean, see means back in TI4. I remember when they were all still on Fnatic, the team tried to kick Era out of going to TI with the team uh, by saying he was sick, couldn't play. Yet Era in insisted, insisting he had a clean bill of health. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a lot of uh, not information on this. Um, Lama was literally throwing up uh, because of anxiety at boot camps today. Era even admitted this. Oh, what the fuck is history writing? Yeah, this is complete baloney. Like, they're just... 
This is like some current spirit theory. Oh, they kicked the arrow back in the days because they didn't want to play. Please. Please. And again, this is a circle jerk, guys. Nico is 100% right. This is what a circle jerk is. You just follow what everyone is agreeing on and you go with it. Because if you're unbiased, you read this. The truth is, no is being unprofessional. Nico Baby is being unprofessional. He could have uh, made us look way better. He made an emotional response as well. But the circle jerk says, Nico Baby is right. So they just go with it. Nico Baby is also being unprofessional. Uh, any good more one? He should have uh, been more articulate. He should have put it better. Just keep digging, no tell. <laughs> no, no, there should apologize for these tweets. Yes, Valve was in mistake for an announcing player, but there was literally no mistake alliance made. He needs to apologize right now. Mm -hmm. What a flower. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> Fuck no tail. I'm for it. You know what? Fuck no tail, man. Fuck no tail. I'm not voting this. He had a bad emotional take. Fuck him. I I'm not going to support him. I was going to buy their fan, but I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm outraged. No tail is a Twitter is hilarious. Dude talks about how he wants to save their mind. Then promos OG selling NFTs. Uh, I don't know what that means, but all right. If Audrey knew uh, about this, they would have called for the first major, right, guys? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if people who say Nico is wrong here are. No one. No one is saying Nico is wrong. Hey, guys, this might be an unpopular opinion, but, like, I think Nico is right here. I don't know who is saying Nico is wrong, but I, this might be unpopular, but I think that Nico is right. Any upvotes? Good on Nico for calling out the obvious. Mr. Crybaby wasn't bothered to check in with the rule, but he's fans to call out his cheater, Lamau. Play auto chess. <laughs> well, hey guys, it's too juicy. I, I need this. Here, here's another one. Here, there's what I had done. This one looks like a good one. Not all just continuing to be a petty piece of washed up trash. <laughs> what can you expect? No, it's also washed up. Playing for the, one of the best teams in the world. What can you expect when a man's best friend goes from fly, an all around stand up guy who has his head on straight? To Seb, someone whose only legacy at the time was being a salty rager in the pro scene. <laughs> he probably has so many fucked up mental problems from his best friend abandoning him for a better team. And for sure, his spot in Og didn't help that. The dude has abandonment issues, and he continues <laughs> to act like a fucking child to this day. Which is really pathetic considering he's the two-time Inerity champion. That so many people look up to. He basically <laughs> represents what pro players are, and people from outside of the community look at him as a beacon of what Dota is about. And he's a fucking man-child. <sighs> oh my god, dude. I, I can't begin with this comment, man. Holy shit. Like, he keeps calling people out, everyone else, child, child. This is the most childish comment I've seen so far in this thread, I think. If I was a dictator, I would send this guy to the gulag for 30 years. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. This guy is clearly an idiot. And probably contributes in no way to society. I just sent him to gulag 30 years. Uh, remove remove the 13 emotes, actually. Uh, remove the play sound, the 31. <laughs> and I've voted. <laughs> this is the most fucking ice coming I've ever seen. Sad as fuck, dude. <laughs> so much salty projection going on here. <laughs> it's like any I've voted. <laughs> uh. Okay. 
That was good. Dear Valve, Camp of the Dissatisfied. Is uh, today's update a joke? <laughs> Come more whining. I fucking can't. Is today's update a joke? April 1 has already passed, but we understand Valve time and very much hope that it is. For me, <laughs> but I think for many Dota players as well, the Battle Pass was a holiday, Dota Christmas. Why did you decide to be like the Grinch? Why is it impossible to make a Battle Pass without making it into the prize pool? Why not combine his sales with fan kits? Why not do activities like the Retired in Fall, Winter, and Spring? But leave the summer for the Battle Pass. And these kits only add graffiti and a few phrases to us for dollar twenty. Are you seriously, dear Dota 2 community? <laughs> I ask you to finally unite and support this post to get answers from Valve. Return Battle Pass. Bring back Dota Christmas. <laughs> uh, I think to me the worst part of the whole thing is that they took uh, this long to let us know about it. Uh... Why didn't tell us earlier? Why does it matter if you knew about a month ago? No, Valve, I don't want to give money to millionaire teams. I don't want to get just sprays and sound voice for $20. I waste my money on Battle Pass because at least it gives me free items. <laughs> I fucking can't. Uh, <laughs> this is upvoted. But because that leaves me free items, I waste my money, but it gives free money. <laughs> What's so fucking hell? It's not even a meme. Like, this guy is serious. I don't need money to millionaire teams, just billionaire companies. <laughs> That's a fucking retard. Uh, I'm up on that. I'm adding those to the list. I need this. I need letter lists. I'm making a new list. Um, add folder. Retarded let it. Add is. You want to understand? <laughs> it's not over there. Get another thread. Uh, it's yours for people to cheat. Okay, you thought it was over, guys. You thought you're gonna not okay, champ. Uh, yes, ESL Dreamer sent an email to all teams at the start of the season, although as we at No Bounty Hunter received it. Code some updates uh, compared to previous ones. We no longer have a rule that limits anyone coach right away from interacting with the team during the line matches. This is from an NBH player on the other thread about this. We now have also confirm that there was a rule change. Yeah, 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 shut the fuck up. PPD secret agent ruining EU teams. I mean, I need some spicy one. Uh, can you call no -tail a terrible person again, please? Uh, okay, we're gonna get down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to reply to this, basically saying, I expect other teams to tell us if there's any rule change because we're too lazy to read it ourselves. Yeah. Note this follow-up tweet, honestly, just shows how pathetic he looks. Like, the other guy replied, said, it's not that hard just to say I'm sorry, man. He said he thought it was some convoluted hyperbole thinking that might prove his point. True. Guy really let the two TIs get to his head. Yeah, yeah, true. True, actually. Mm -hmm. Lemao, I like Noel better when he was a one-time TI winner. <laughs> you remember the good old Notel when he was cool? The good old days? Honestly, and I'm being honest here, guys. I'm going to be honest. Pure honestly. He went hard downhill. Hard downhill after the Fnatic days. Same with Fly. Turns out Trixie was a secret sauce that kept him likable. Honest, that's true. I mean, yeah, sure, let us not been loving Nota for the past, like, what, six months, six years? Calling him the perfect flower? But he had a bad take now, so... You know, it's been downhill ever since, like, ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
He is ignorant, true. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yep. Having a coach make calls in game is undeniably bad for the game. Coaches do not face the same pressure as the players, so they obviously would be more calm and make better calls. Teams having coaches make calls in games are less prone to make bad plays because of tilt. I think people overvalue what a coach in game does. Like when I was playing as a god gamer in my prime, there's nothing someone like PPD could tell me that would be valuable. Like, oh no, you shouldn't TP it because it might. Dude, I'm literally a god gamer. I know exactly where they are. You don't need to tell me anything. Nothing you can say is of value to me. Uh, he's ever pissed at the wrong people. Yep, and he did. He did backtrack it the last tweet. I mean, he should have added an apology, uh, but he did backtrack on it and realized he was wrong. Infinite content. Oh shit! Two minutes ago. Okay. Now remember, guys. Like Seb is like super out there. Like he is. Like, he thinks so much of himself, so I won't trust a single word what he says. Here we go. You thought it was over, guys. It's free drama day. Let's read it. Coaching situation, Alliance. Hello, everyone. I felt the need to elaborate a bit more my position on the recent situation about Alliance having their coach with them in-game making calls and helping them with information communication. Mm -hmm. This is by no mean Og's position or statement, but simply my take as a 10-year-plus long competitor in Dota. Okay, it's his own take. First, I want to emphasize how big a difference having a coach in-game brings to the game. Dota is a game that requires many skills, as I am sure you have all experienced. There is mm -hmm. the micro part of the game, or some would call is technical, that is basically about how quickly and precisely you can execute your actions. And on the other side, there is the macro part, or tactical, aspect of it. Mm -hmm. That part is mostly about your ability to anticipate your opponent's movements, reading the map, understanding how your game has to develop, and many other things. Yeah. Last, but not least, the team aspect, which emphasizes more on a team's ability to have a clear and efficient communication healthy dynamic amongst other things if i had to give a percentage to describe which one of these features means the most at the highest level i would surely say that the tactical and the team aspect are the game changers the micro part of dota is fundamental but at the end of the day it is not what differentiates the best teams and the best players of course this is my opinion and by no means do i assume being in the right but if i had to guess other pro players take on the matter I would not be surprised if they agreed with that distribution. Mm. You're not allowed to say this. You're not saying this is your opinion and you don't assume you're right. I mean, the letter is saying you're full of yourself and it's gone to your head. You're not allowed to write this. I've read differently from letters. Why are you being humble? That's, that's not... No, 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 no. With that being said, let us now imagine the implications of having a coach live in a game. That person could now monitor many things for the players. Mm -hmm. He would help them read the map while they focus on their gamma play. He would yeah. make sure the communication flow stays efficient and clear by repeating or emphasizing on crucial information. Yes. He could also monitor the energy mindset of the team during the game. He could also obviously help the team with the strategical part of the game, both in making their own come together, but also countering what their opponents present. I still believe players would have to do some of the work, of course, because at the end of the day, that is the nature of Dota, and what the game requires. Even if you try to take some away, and change mm -hmm. the game completely. But still, a big part of what makes a great Dota play a great, would be taken away. I personally think that, if this is meant to be, it is the saddest thing, that happened to Dota in years. Once again, it is a matter of opinions, and I only allow myself to share it here, because it's a topic close to my heart. At the end of the day, it's a Valve call, if not a community one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I don't know why they would add that rule. Like, why? That just it makes no sense, personally. But all right. 
Like, why should they be coaches in the game? Right now we know why Alliance is parties in EU and Kegelite Major, Krappa. Well, you're allowed to add, add a Major as well now. Now onto the situation yes. that presented itself. Yes. Last time go. Valve made a change that was not even as significant, allowing coaches just during drafting phases. They communicated with all the pro teams beforehand and announced it publicly on the website. It seemed like a very big deal because it was this time around. Some would want me to believe that an even bigger change that fundamentally changes the way the game is going to be played would just happen over an email. Not even sent by Valve themselves. Maybe it is the case, maybe not. All I know is that if this is not a mistake by Esla or whoever is in charge, it is very poorly communicated and handled in regard to the competitors and True. also the spectators. That change would be a revolution for Dota, and the way things were handled just feels like a miscommunication. That's MR exploiting. True. Uh, you should probably not have added this part. No one is exploiting it. They're just following the rules. That was a mistake. Lad is going to get caught on this. For sure. About Alliance. Alliance has apparently followed the rules and read what was sent to them more carefully than other teams. Yep. In that sense, I don't believe they did anything wrong and are just using what they can to their advantage. True. Other teams, including my own, should take that as a lesson to pay more attention to potential changes to rule books, even to the least expected ones. On the other hand, Alliance players, just like any other pro player really, have heard about that discussion over the years. Will one day coaches be allowed in game in Dota? Just like in CS colon go, very controversial discussion, very big deal, and everyone has been looking at Valve wondering what their position about it would end up being. But it always remains something hypothetical, and Valve never even hinted that anything would change in the future. Mm -hmm. To my knowledge, Alliance is the only team to use that feature, because it has always been forbidden. So was that golden rule meant to be broken over a simple email sent by an SL employee, maybe? But I have a hard time believing that even Alliance themselves buy that version of the story. To me it simply looked like using everything usable to your advantage, and that is fair, even if I have very little respect for that way of handling things. But life is life, and competition is fierce, in every sense of the word. Anyways, I just hope that, regardless of the Alliance case that matters very little in the big scheme of things, Valve will clarify things about such an important role and update to how the game is being played, especially with T coming up. If Dota became a six-man game, in the booth too, with no official communication or discussion with teams that have been preparing for almost two years now, then it's quite saddening. At the end of the day, we all want the best for this game and its competition. Mm. Thank you for taking the time to read. I didn't read it, I listened. Very cool. Very cool. Very calm and level-headed. Secret is quick with the memes. Time to support your local honest hardworking teams. Um, uh, there is there has been inconvenience regarding the upload of our bundle. The OG content will be coming up in the upcoming days as the issue has now been fixed. Uh, sincerely sorry for inconvenience in game. It's coming soon. What? Y'all didn't read the email? <laughs> Got him. Well, just we say, Lord Gaven, the document is really angry today. They can buy a battle passes here. Excellent. All according to plan. They are literally upset that he can't give us more money. <laughs> Well, please, for the love of God, do not refuse the monetization of done from Diatide. Are we with a with the fair and balanced thing of the coaching situation? Oh, more. Mhm. Mm very interesting. I'm a big cheat. Anything you can do about this?
Mm. Poppy Monka W. <laughs> oh, he had a machete. Mm -hmm. Getting more? Uh, our throne is in trouble. Our throne's in tr a little bit of trouble. I can push it. I have no detection right now. Sending. Watch me. I glimmer you. Watch you glimmered. We have base okay. issues, guys. Get base, get base, get to base, guys. We need to defend. Okay. They crashed him. They... I got it, I got it. Oh, die, die back. Yeah, I'm helping. Stunning him? I can force you, Nico, forcing. He's got a room, I can't stun him. Force me? I guess it, I guess it. I'm going more. I did the biggest mistake. I tell my men never to do this. If you're in the middle of a fucking fight, you don't bring up your fucking base. You want your team to have full focus on what's happening in the fucking fight. Uh, our, our throne is in trouble, guys. Our throne is going to be dying in about 40 seconds from dying to creeps. In 40 seconds, our base will die from creeps. Guys, you just want to bring it up in the middle of a team fight. Very poggers. Uh, I think that's it, guys. GG. GG. Been able to do it yeah, this was too busy. This worked. Uh... Alliance 1 though. Yeah. I see why this is worth playing Dota. <laughs> That's the most retarded shit I've ever seen in my life. That is by far the worst play I've ever seen in Dota. Hands down. It's not even close. <laughs> that deserves to be on the top. Yeah, yeah. Super uh, club rewards is uh, probably expensive for most nations. Yes. It should be monthly. It should be like it should be like three dollars monthly. Quinn, it's okay, Pogo. Uh, hmm. CEO of OG explaining how mid game coaching was communicated. Ah, oh, it's not over yet, guys. For the record, we were sent a rule book at the beginning of the season. We got together and spoke about the rules. Some were flagged because they would create problems, and Alliance was part of that discussion. This was not in the rule book. There, this is an extra paragraph of an email. No one flagged it, no one discussed it, and clearly we all missed it, including team sound and broadcast. So, fat CD. Mm -hmm. No, we're not done with that yet. Ready your the, the tea time. How is that balanced? Reading papers? How's that balanced? Fountain hooks? How's that balanced? Reading emails? <laughs> Six man Dota. That's my Nico baby. Email suddenly goes to different people written below. You can now bring in 100 people to your Discord during your game. I really think normal procedure would be to hit up other teams. It'd be like you now playing Sigma Dota 2. Bell? Bell, you're not allowed to speak without my permission. Nota versus Nico Baby. <laughs> <laughs> the failed pause, pause wars trilogy. Last strike promise on meme build. Yes. You need these three items Octarine Core and Travel, Stun, Yules, Stun, 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 Stun. Stun, stun. Remember to click the subscription button, but that's not good enough. You gotta click the bell. Click the bell. You gotta also click the bell and thumbs up.